Easy course launching. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I have been in the online world about 10 years now and I certainly have been on a journey. When I first started out, I was really scared to put myself out there and be visible. And then I was scared, I could be visible, but I was scared to sell things online because I didn't feel like anyone would want to buy what I had to offer. And it was very much about me and my imposter syndrome and my doubts and fears about myself and whether I was worthy enough and good enough. And so because it was so ingrained in me and whether it was about me and my worthiness and my talents or is this good enough, rather than it, it being about, oh, this might be of help and how can I help you? And this might be really helpful. So once I started flipping it to rather than it being about me, it was about, oh, how can I help you? This might be of help. Suddenly it became a lot easier to sell because it was about, oh, this might help you. And it wasn't about anything to do with me or whether people were going to accept me or reject me. And so I didn't have those feelings of, oh, I'm gonna be rejected. Um, no one likes me. All of those fears that I had about, um, you know, about rejection and whether I'm good enough or worthy enough or all of those things. And so if you can flip that, that mindset switch, it can really help you to, um, to then, you know, be able to put yourself out there and be visible. Once I'd got past that sort of mindset of, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, then my next kind of big thing was I then, you know, went all in on these big razzmadazzle kind of Facebook launches and had loads of people in a Facebook group. And I used to have like, oh, thousands of people in a Facebook group. And it just was overwhelming. And for me as um, definitely an introvert and trying to juggle my son who is autistic and being a single parent, it was way too much. And it was just unwieldy and completely complicated and I couldn't do it. I didn't wanna do it. I didn't really enjoy the process. And um, there was a point where I used to wear silly hats and I'd kind of be like, oh, I'd be showy and have fun and wear silly hats and stuff like that. But it was almost, I was using those as a mask to help me just like have fun and show up because I was just so exhausted. And I was so exhausted doing all of the things that I didn't really have time just to be like, oh right, okay, now I'm just actually gonna enjoy the process. And so I had to use like these crazy hats to help me <laughs> to kind of just be like, Ta -da, let's do this thing. But of course that wasn't necessarily me. And so, when I really reassessed everything and took a step back, I realized I didn't want to do that. I wanted just to be much more vulnerable, be much more me, be much smaller, low key. And while I wasn't running ads to things so that I wasn't getting like thousands of people joining my launches in the way that I was before, what happened was actually I had a much higher conversion rate. So Actually, while I had a smaller number of people sign up and so, you know, you don't have those big vanity metrics, actually I wasn't running ads, so it wasn't costing a great deal of money to run the ads in the first place, but the conversion rates are higher because I was much more authentic myself and it was just a lower key, nicer experience and I was much more relaxed about it, I had fun and without having to wear hats and be crazy and so actually from the point of view of profit it was way more profitable and it's just much nicer and easier to manage particularly with my son because I can't do all of the big razzle dazzle because if I get stressed out then that impacts on him he sort of picks up on my stress and I can't parent properly so I have to be really really conscious that if I'm stressed out, then that reverberates onto him. And then once he's stressed out, it's like an explosion. So I have to, I have to be really centered in myself and really conscious of my own energy and what I'm putting out. And so by keeping it much more low key, I'm not so stressed by it. And it means that I'm a better parent and just that becomes so much easier. So in the fact that I'm not stressed out, then he's happier, 
then it means that actually everything goes ahead so much easier. I find when I try and if I try and like getting ready for school in the mornings, if I try and hurry my son and like, come on, come on, let's get ready, come on, then he'll get stressed out. And then I spend 20 minutes, half an hour calming him down rather than just being like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You just do your thing and we'll get ready and we'll go. And actually we're much faster even if I feel like, come on. And so it's the same with launching that actually if you just you know, reassess and rather than having that big like frazzle of energy and feeling stressed out, if you're just much more like, okay, I'm gonna just be really simple with this, have fun with it, enjoy it. I'm gonna make it so that I'm repurposing content and it's easier and you know, so it's, you're repurposing your emails, you're repurposing your webinar and just tweaking. You make minor tweaks rather than feeling like, oh, I've gotta do everything and rah! And actually it becomes so much easier. Your energy is better when you go into the webinar that you enjoy it, you sell better, you get higher conversion rates. So you make as much money as you would have done if you'd have just done the whole like, oh, I get burnt out and it's all stressful. And so it's really making it as simple as possible for you rather than exhausting yourself. So how can you manage your energy? Um, I've got the easy launch plan, check out my link below, which will really help you so that you can simplify your launches, enjoy them and sell more. If you enjoyed this video, I would love you to subscribe. Please click on the link below to subscribe and I'd love to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye bye.